It's the bird! Boys and girls! The bird's here! Why are you squawking, big guy? Oh, oh, oh my god, his like feathers just hit me a little bit there, you guys see? Oh my god, he just knocked me back! Oh my god, I'm so close to falling off the bridge! No, the bird killed me! No! Welcome back to Grounded, everybody, and welcome to the brand new update that has just dropped today, introducing some major things, like literally a brand new bird that's been flying around. I actually noticed it in like terrorizing these lands that we're gonna go and try to get, not to mention a few crazy things, like a perk system that we're gonna be trying to have a little bit of fun with, in addition to a bunch of stuff that we are gonna be going over. But in case y'all missed it in the last episode, we did actually head over to the hedge and face the hedge broodmother. So make sure that y'all check that out from my link at the top of the description and our full grounded playlist to check out a lot of the shenanigans how we built this incredible base our awesome outpost base that is over there in the toxic area all that jazz link at the top of the description oh where did this thing come from okay well that's a freaking terrifying and ominous way of kicking off this episode but we also did find a secret lab over there that we took a bit of a detour from because this update came out so i wanted to cover this asap but we will go and check out that secret lab at some point and no worries but this new update is freaking crazy and i think i actually know how we could already unlock the first of one of these active mutations over here. i think burgle actually if we head over to him does have new types of quests he can give us new chips that we can get for him so we got our work cut out for us but for now i gotta grab some mint in my inventory star what what are you talking about why do you need mint in your inventory you're, you're gonna see because if i'm not mistaken i just gotta get myself into a little bit of a tussle <gasps> oh just kidding we don't even have to get the tussle. Mutation detected fresh defense. And check it out over here. We have our first mutation ready to go. A plume of mint dust envelopes you and sends a cool wave rippling through your skin. Cells activate a freshness layer to combat the sting of all that stinks and burns. So we can actually have three out of these what appear to be 11 mutations thus far and you can earn mutations by doing literally random things like what we just did like literally finding mint not only now leads you to crafting up the mint mallet for example which if i'm not mistaken oof that heights that heights i think it actually got a bit of a nerf over here in the stun department i think they did nerf uh that was another thing that did happen they nerfed a few of the existing i think two-handed weapons to make them a little bit less stun heavy i do also think they made bugs a little bit more resistant to stunning as well and they added new new attacks for spiders so i'm terrified but intrigued to see what incarnation that's gonna be all about but for now it's time for us to get to the bottom of what exactly this freaking uh mint thing does because it says that it cools off everything that stinks and burns so i wonder if it might be able to help us out in just some mano e mano combat for example against our ladybug friend over here because i gotta murder some ladybugs anyway so uh we could get to it i do also hear stink bug i think somewhere stink bug might actually be a little bit of a better showcase of this Where's that stanky boy? Oh, there he is. Hello, stink bug. Boop. Oh, no. Come on, do your stink. Do your stink. Don't just attack me. Do the fart. Do the thing. Okay, I'll shoot you in the face a little bit. If you insist. Where are you running over to? Come on, do the fart. I'm trying to showcase. I don't need a gas mask anymore. I've evolved past that. Okay. Did the stink bug just regenerate? Bro, what? How'd the stink bug just regenerate all that health? Okay, well, I guess yeet. Let's try to get some hits off into this fella. Boop! Yeah, okay, well, he appears to be pretty uh, cool with me hitting him, so... I'm not I'm not complaining. Come on, Stinkbug, do the fart! Wow, I, I'm so fresh, I just, like, make Stinkbug scared of even farting on me. Talk about that! Dude, I could use this thing in real life, man. <laughs> Someone's trying to rip one nearby me, I'll be like, Wait, I have mints, and they'll be like, Ah, oh, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. But I think I might have actually heard... That's the ladybug over there that we heard. So we'll go and investigate. Maybe if we take damage, it does something. I wonder if uh, maybe it does damage back to whatever we're fighting. So I'm just going to let the ladybug try to hit us like one time here. Ladybug, come on, hit me once. Don't don't, don't hurt too much though, please, okay? Just come on, ladybug. Come on, hit me once. I'll let it be. I'll give you a freebie. You're not hitting me, ladybug. You are really, really... Oh, there we go. We got a hit. We got a hit. Oh, there we go. Managed to block that one over there. So it doesn't look like the ladybug hitting us like did any damage to us or something like that. Oh, uh, oh, she's getting ready to freaking charge out there. Luckily, the use of grass is quite clutch. Because she just, like, kind of bumps into the grass instead of bumping into us. Oh, beautiful. We got it with this thing. Get out of your gnat. I don't want none of your shenanigans. And then one more hit. Beautiful. The ladybug is down. So you definitely noticed not as much happening on the stun side of things. 
Still a little bit bummed that that stink bug just was terrified of me, but eh, there will be more. Didn't we literally see a stink bug over this way? Nice and clean. Let's drink up on our smoothie and see how this goes. But then I do want to head over to Burgle, see some of the new stuff he's got in store for us. And yeah, and if you guys haven't already, make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned for more Grounded coming your way as we continue covering this update. All future updates coming to the game and all that jazz. And of course, make sure to hit that like button. Because if you don't hit it, then you will be abducted by the bird that's been terrorizing these lands. That I've yet to see as soon as I hit the record button. I have not seen the bird. So I'm, I, I am going to head over to that bird bath area and see if maybe I can find the bird over there. Because I know for a fact that the bird should be able to spawn around that-ish location. Um, and honestly, we could, you know what else I think the mint perk might work with? It might work with the bombardier beetle. Oh, dude, this might actually be incredible. Because the freaking acid that the bombardier beetle spits out is always such just super, super painful. So I wonder, oh my god, so much gnat stuff. I wonder if this could actually be a huge perk for helping you fight bombardier beetles, which are underratedly tough, dude. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, make sure you hit that like button because otherwise you're gonna be abducted by the freaking bird. And I don't want that to happen. I'm trying to look out for you. Oh, I'm sorry, Ant. Didn't mean to do that to you, but it happened. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit bummed though because they were they were hyping up and we saw in the game files some stuff like the freaking underwater world, freaking sea world out here, right? And a bunch of stuff like that that was looking like it might actually be this update, but it looks like this one was a little bit on the smaller side, which is understandable, but it's definitely a little bit disappointing. Because there was a lot of cool stuff in the game files, like the whole, like, underwater update and expansion of the story. Like, really, a lot of stuff. Spit on me, bro. Spit on me. Spit on me. Do it, punk. Do it. He ain't doing it. Come on, do it, punk. Do your spit. Do your thing. Okay, I'll head over here. What could possibly go wrong? Ow! Okay, well, he did it. He did it. I'm not, like, burning as much in it. Like, it still hurt on, like, initial impact. So I don't know exactly what this minty thing does. Oh, get out of here, you freaking termite. No. There we go. He gone. Are you still damaged over there? What's the deal? No, he, he healed already. I'll, I'll just let him be. I'll be merciful today. It's starting to get a little bit dark out, too. Hmm. But I do want to come across a stink bug that ideally tries to fart on me so I can hopefully see the uh, this perk at play. Oh, my God. What was that noise, dude? That was very loud. Jesus! Larva are that loud now? Okay, well, that's another change you gotta be careful for, apparently. Oh, my. Whew. Alrighty. My heart is uh, in pain. Okie dokie, let's take a little bit of a nap before our adventures continue. We still got a date with a freaking bird, as weird as that sounds. I wanna find that thing. I wanna destroy it. I wanna slurp up on some water. We should have some of our mushrooms down below growing like a beaut. And I've also been doing a little bit of research into some of the perks and whatnot that you can actually get an interesting stuff. I think we could actually buy some from Burgle himself. And I think it like literally just costs science points or something like that. So definitely something we want to check out over there. I still want to try and come across a spider if we can to try and see what his new move set might be like in jazz like that. And yeah, just see how things go. Oh my goodness, dude. Those things are going to scare the poop out of me on a repeatable basis. Very much so, but all right. Here is where our buddy Burgle resides. I still don't understand how the one, like the first time we came here, bro. I still remember vividly. There's like a spider. Oh, I hear the spider. There's literally a spider that just like marked us. This is where the spider lives, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? Not that looks very suspicious. I'm not in the mood to fight a wolf spider at the moment. Please leave a message after the beat. I'm just gonna walk in here and talk to my dude. Burgle. But yeah, there is a perk that you can get for literally killing a certain amount of ants, I think. I think you get a perk for like running a certain amount. There's like various ways to get these perks, but Burgle, my man, my dog. Hello there. Acting How you doing? Burgle, if you Let's trade. Bring me more of my lost Oh, baby, would you look at that? Yes, sir, there we go. So this is actually one of the new ones right here. Meat Shield, a perk that teaches you to believe in your body, increasing your maximum health. Dude, 
I know what I'm saving up my science for. Sure, there are a lot of things we can knock out, but this is a must, and I definitely want to knock out some of Burgle's quests, which he also has new quests, new types of quests that we can knock out. So we got that to look forward to, and also buff lung. This is so you can actually increase your maximum stamina, too. Given the fact that I love using, like, two-handed weapons, like our mint mallet over here, they use a lot of stamina, so I am down ski doodle for that. We do also have the Grasslands Burgle oh, chip, which I, I, I guess he didn't have. Is there anything else Did that, like, respawn or something? Did that What's that? What does that change? Does he have new stuff for sale? That was grasslands. No, he doesn't appear to have new stuff. That might have just respawned. Because I swear we got that last time around, too. Hi, it's good to see you again. But all right, yeah. Uh, how's the work? Quests. Give me some quests over here. We got the explorer, a hunter, and an explorer. So, okie dokie. Ooh, five infected weevils. Ladies and gentlemen, we might uh, need to make our way back to the toxic area and kill us uh, some of those weevils. Shouldn't be too hard, but that's a lot of science points we'll be able to get. So that's cool. And on oh, top of that, we do just need to knock out some markers and stuff. But there we have, I suppose, the newness of Burgle. I'll start stockpiling those uh, science points and ideally we'll be able to show off those some like of those perks. But geometric shapes in that paint. yeah, shapes, shapes, more shapes. Listen, bro, I don't want to think about geometry class right now, Pete. Okay, I graduated college. Thank you very much. I'd like to finish thinking about mathy things like that. Okay, okay. Geometry can't hurt me anymore. Gotta, gotta remember, I'm safe from the geometric shapes now okay so also check it out i did also want to bring out to play the ant club over here and kind of compare it against the mint mallet and yeah the ant club used to do a lot more stun damage too actually i think the main way the mint mallet used to be better was it literally just did more damage and it also had max stun but that appears to have changed they have definitely nerfed a lot of the two-handed weapons which kind of sucks because they were they're very powerful comrades very very good very fun weaponry and there we got this sleepy dicky spider is that a wolf spider? Bro, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is the wolf spider chilling here? That ain't an orb weaver, is it? Hello, spidey boy. That is, uh... Is that a wolf spider? Yep, that's a wolf spider! What are you doing here? This is usually orb weaver central! Well... Yeah, go, go back to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I'll try and find your orb weaving counterparts. There they are! These guys are much more pleasant. And easy to kill. Oh, and there we got one. Shall we rustle and tussle, boys and girls? Let's hope for the best. Are you literally hiding inside of your own net over there? What's up with that, chief? Come on, orb weaver. Where are you running to, dog? Don't keep running away. Come to me, my brother! We will fight to the death! Oh, there we go. We managed to juke him out over there. I'm still not seeing the new stuff in play. He appears to be a big derp that has no idea where I am. Beautiful, we can still continue juking him. It looks like he has some major, he, he really lunges out now. He did not used to do that. Oh, that one's getting a little bit sketchy. He's having like, oh, look at that. It's like a combo attack this guy has in his repertoire now. Oh, he managed to hit us, he managed to hit us. It might be smoothie time, might be smoothie time. Smoothie time. And let's hit him a little bit more. And you can really see that was the first stun that we just managed to get over there. Dude, don't tell me. Okay, actually I'm scared that that wolf spider is gonna come out and play. But yeah, don't even tell me, dude. That took a long time for our first stun. They really have nerfed stuns, and on top of that, I think it's harder to actually get successive stuns in a row. After you stun an enemy, there's now a certain cooldown until the next stun can happen. That was some of the update notes I was reading about in the changes. Hello, Mr. Spider. I will kill you next. Oh, don't run away, my friend, my buddy, my pal. I might get to have our uh, ant club over here as a little secondary weapon, because that mint mallet's on the brink of destruction, dude. And uh, I don't like that, but boop! Let's go and just kind of try and uh, get a little bit spicy, shall we? Oh no, 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 no! Okay, beautiful, got hit there. Dude, I really do want that increase in stamina! That would be hype AF. Oh no, is there another one over there? Get out of here, dude! Oh, that one did a lot of damage, that one did a lot of damage. Okay, hold up. Gotta block that, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go a little bit. Ah! Run, run, run! Beautiful. Gotta take a breather over there. Gotta get a few shots into this orb weaver while we can. He has a friend! Come on, man, that's not... I can't fight two of you at once. I should have made more smoothies. Alrighty, y'all. Looks like it's time for the get the heck out of dodge tactics because, uh, hey, 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 no thank you. I do not have the resources to beat that many spiders to death. Oh my god, another one? This is more spiders than I've ever seen here, but on the brighter side of things, I want to try and get this ant perk. And I think if we kill a few ants, it should be doable. I don't know how much a few is, but... 
Yeah, I'll keep my eyes peeled for a burb too. And I'll make sure to also just pick up like a bunch of stuff because literally you can make like the world's most basic smoothie and those are soldier ants. No, thank you. Don't want to tussle with those. I'd rather just kill the civilian ants. <laughs> soldier ants are tough cookies and your boys got to craft some smoothies. So if you'll let me craft some smoothies in peace, I'm just going to pick up all this random crud over here because literally just tossing in three of anything can let you create a smoothie that will automatically heal you. Fill up your thirst a little bit, just a bunch of goodness like that. And uh, we're kind of heading towards the way of our base. What is that? Is that an orb weaver or a wolf? I do know that the wolf spiders reside around these parts as well. Gotta be a little bit careful. respawned oh do i have my club with me i i do 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 let's go i should actually equip it over here dude that is some hypeness right there the mints have respawned i don't know if that's because of the update or if these just respawned some time ago but it's here baby am i, am I breaking the mint or what's up here it's not nothing's happening oh there we go it's a super weird angle come on mint Oh, there we go. Woo! Where do those mint parts go? Oh, there they are. Oh, go here, Nate. You ain't going anywhere, mint chunks. Dude. Now, this is hype. Literally the best resource in the game that currently can only be used for the mint mallet and also to unlock that perk we showed off a little bit earlier. But uh, I imagine we'll have other uses. Bro, where are you running to, mints? <laughs> okay, hold on. I was going to say you can't escape. I can't escape. There we go. Dude, these mint chunks are very glitch. Oh, they're up top. Okay. I was going to say, these big chunks are very glitchy right now, dude. Oh, and I just got the natural explorer mutation. Let's go. Little, 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 little. Dude, hype sauce. So I think the natural explorer over here, if I'm not mistaken, you literally get it just for exploring landmarks and stuff. With each landmark found, you gain a better understanding of the lay of the land. Your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand. Does that make us faster? I... Don't know. Also, I see rustling in the bushes. <laughs> uh, go away, Mr. Spider. Eh? Let me collect my mint in peace. Thank you very kindly. And with that, the last of the mints have fallen. Let's collect all of this because if this stuff starts respawning, I want to collect it as much as possible. I literally... This is like one of the best things you could go for because you ain't gonna get out of... This. There we go. It's literally one of the best things you can get just due to its rarity you literally got to create the insect hammer to make it happen the insect hammer requires quite a few steps to make happen it's just overall like the culmination of a lot of work so it's definitely pretty hype to collect when you can and with that i think there's one piece missing somewhere there we go you get about 20 pieces from there once all is said and done so cha -ching! good to go there and here we are back at the entrance of one of my favorite places to call home the rake hopefully there aren't too many uh, i was about to say zombies i've been playing too many zombie games hopefully there aren't too many enemies just chilling up there that would definitely be on the no bueno side so i know i know for a fact the stink bugs like that rock but they got to get it through their heads this is my rock now we could go weevil hunt too while we're at it <laughs> We go options, baby. So while we're here, let's go ahead and knock out a few necessities. Numero uno, give me the water no from that beautiful web thing. We crafted up step number two. Your boy. Need some schmoothies. That's going to be in the basement over here. Man, I love these little outposts we've made, especially on like opposite corners of the map. It is very nice to have this like so conveniently set up, you know? So let's definitely craft up a few of these. And literally, like, this is why the smoothie machine is so important. It is ridiculously easy to craft. You can toss anything into these slots and you're guaranteed at least a smoothie. There are certain combinations that I actually create really good smoothies, but uh, I have not made any of those combinations yet. Definitely on the to-do list on that front too, but there we go. We got 10 smoothies ready to go. Let's, uh... Oh, I, I just ate a mint chunk. No, I did not mean to do that. Why is the mint chunk in that slot? That's my smoothie slot. But I've been... Okay, well, I ate a mint chunk. I... Oof. 
I'm gonna drink my smoothie in peace. Yeah, and also fun little fact with that bird. I actually saw it one time somewhere. I think I think it was chilling on that bench before. I I, I have literally seen the bird over here. Dude, you know what would be terrifying? If one of the spots where the bird can land, you literally built your base on, so all of a sudden the bird just lands and destroys your base. That wouldn't be funny. That'd be that'd be horrific. Please don't. Let's, I'm sorry I put that idea out in the world. Hopefully that happens to no one. Hmm. I mean, I'll kill some of these weevils, dude. Oh, check this out. We oh, not going to be checking that out. I need some arrows to deal with those. I'll finish that marker at some point. No, no worries. Don't, don't sweat it. Back to what I was saying, though. I'm going to swap out and use the ant club a little bit just because it will help us with it, you know, kind of being in a little bit more healthy of a shape. Might collect some thistles. Oh, my God. So many ants. And let's go ant hunting, baby. Hopefully, I don't anger too many of them. We're going to be largely melee based here. But yeah, there's a certain perk, I think, where if you sprint long enough, you actually get one of them. I'm trying to unlock all the perks that we can. There's so many to choose from. We can have three active at any point in time. So our work is definitely cut out for us. Hello, Antipoo. Okay, do I start dying in this gas? I do have like the mint perk, right? Doesn't that keep me safe? Yo! No way, dude! Oh, no. Hold up. Something's happening. I am taking a little bit of damage, so never mind. It is hurting me. I do need to get a gas mask, I think. So what, what incarnation does that minty fresh perk do? Because it's not protecting us from the gas. It's got to protect us from something. What up, Ant? I got to kill some of you. Hope that's cool. I don't know how many, but you're going to start dying. <laughs> oh, hello. You had a friend. Too bad. So sad. You died. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Another friend. Too much friendship. Too much friendship. We need more death ship. It's a cooler ship for all intents and purposes right now. Hello, mites. Ow, dude. I hate that these guys literally shoot you. Like, how? How How does a mite able do that? No. Stop it. We did get some fungal growth, though. Hype, hype, hype. Here, we got to be careful because, yeah. Oh, my God. Are there multiple wolf spiders down there? Bruh. Why do I always, I, I always build in the best places. What can I say? Clean. All right. So, I mean, I got smoothies. I'll just run in here like a psychopath. If I die, I die because I don't have the mask on me at the moment. I didn't put it away somewhere, but I'm just looking for some infected weevils, dead. And I'm not finding any. Did they make them harder to find all of a sudden? Okay, we might need to go deep into that land. I, I reckon that might be a, a job for the, uh, the thing with the name the gas mask that thing also thousand percent uh give me some thistles please and thank you your boy is gonna be crafting some arrows all right 25 should just about do the trick that will come in handy for the shenanigans i plan on getting into hold up i heard the squawks there she is there she blows oh do y'all see what i see it's up in the sky over there and hopefully it's not gonna poop on us but literally literally it's a bird it's a plane no it's a bird Oh my god, look at that thing! Birdie! Birdie, birdie, birdie! Hello, 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 buddy! Oh, hello, ants! I'll, I'll, I'll kill you in a sec, hold up. You, you gotta drop some- Dude, okay, so the birds are capable of dropping feathers. Do I need to, like, shoot this man? To have him drop arrows? Like, what's the- what's the deal here? What is it gonna take to make this happen? Eh? Is it just gonna automatically drop from there? I know bird feathers are a thing, so I'm gonna go below it. And then if not, we might need to craft some of those arrows on the lickety split. Bro, there's spiders here. Get out of here. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Where are the feathers at? Oh my god, why is there a spider gotta be here? Did you just fly away? I heard a floof. No! Where'd you go to, you darn thing? Oh, you darn tootin', rootin', pootin', shootin', poopy thing. Ah oh, man. Yeah, I am uh, right below where that thing was chilling. Which is infested by spiders, may I add. I'm not seeing any bird feathers. I know for a fact bird feathers were added. I'm going to try and get a better vantage point over here. Hopefully I don't fall off. That'd be bad. Maybe these will help. Yeah, hello. I mean, there's no way the bird feathers would be up there. That'd be ridiculous. You could never get to that. But I am not seeing any down below. Hmm. 
These feathers are elusive, I tell you what. That's right, we'll try and hunt down that burb a little bit more. While we're at it though, I did see some ants! Where you at, buddies? Also, I'll take that dandelion tuft. Ya boy! You can use that for now. You can also store it. Let that thing be good for later. We've got options, baby. Now where are these ants, baby? Oh, there we go. There we go! No I'm seeing here. one! Oh, that's a soldier. Listen, I could go for a little bit of a challenge. What up, buddy? Can I stun you, please? That'd be awesome. Okay, ow! Okay, luckily you missed. Beautiful. Can you get stunned, dude? What, where's the stun at? Ow! Luckily that did not do a lot of damage at all. Haha! -ha! You are poop! May you die and perish. <laughs> Scrub. Dying to me with an ant club. Ant club sep- cl Antception. Boom. Roasted. Oh ho ho! Our anti friends return. How you doing there, bud? I have an ant leg for you. Hey! Oh no! Just don't look behind you. Nothing suspicious going on over here. Hey! 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 Oh, beautiful. Sayonara, mother trucker. Dude, how many ants do I gotta kill to get this ant perk? I feel like our work is uh, going to be cut out for us. Ants are definitely gonna be on the menu. Was this hole here before? Regardless, ants are gonna be on the menu. We're gonna make this happen, baby. So while we're at it, I mean, I don't mind grabbing some of these. I don't have the most inventory room in the world. I don't have my ant armor on right now, so it's just haul even more stuff. Ah, oh, I'll haul what they can. Hello, hello, hello. Please don't mind me just living my life in, you know, might central above a spider's nest on a rock with multiple stink bombardier bugs. Really? My choice in real estate, bro, if you're looking at properties, hello, buddy. Please don't, don't attack me. He just stared me in the eyes. I don't know. Okay, I think we have an understanding that we're cool. I think we're cool. Cause I don't want my base getting broken into right now, man. I'd rather not have to fight bombardier beetles yet. Here we are. Okay. I might need more room. I'll leave that there for the time being. Um, I'm going to put some stuff away, though. And then I say we make our way over to the hedge. There's actually a bird bath that I do want to pop over to. That bird bath... Dude, if all goes according to plan, is going to be hype. Because I know that the... I know for a fact the bird can go there. We saw the bird in one of its natural habitats. We'll see it at another. I'll go ahead and craft up some arrows too so we can actually shoot at the bird. Because we didn't have a lot of time with that bird over there. And I don't care what it takes. We go going bird watching, baby. So, uh, yeah. Talk to y'all. It is like... <gasps> it's the bird! Boys and girls! The bird's here! Let's go! Oh my god. Are you gonna... Okay, first off, let's make sure that I don't fall to my death over here. Hello, birdie. How... How are you doing? Dude... Can I go pet the bird? This is... This thing is freaking massive. Oh my god, look at that thing! Okay, don't mind me. Hi, oh, squawks! Why are you squawking, big guy? Oh, oh, oh my god, his like feathers just hit me a little bit there, you guys see? Oh my god, he just knocked me back! Oh my god, I'm so close to falling off the brain! No, the bird killed me! No! Well. Word. Of warning. Beware the bird! Especially if you are up in the heights. And stuff like that. I'm, I'm gonna go get my stuff back. But I want to see because this bird is capable of like dropping feathers and stuff if I'm not mistaken. So I wonder if that's something that this bird just did over here. Like a bird, are you still there? Yeah, he's still up there just terrorizing that little bird fountain. Freaking douche canoe. Dude, look at that thing up there. Just menacing. Like, oh my goodness gracious. Well, hopefully I can shoot it a little bit and see if like... I, I feel like shooting it's going to be the only way to get it to drop feathers. Hopefully it doesn't get mad at me for shooting it. I just got a hunch. I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing. Just a little, just a little, just a little hunch. Oh, please don't run away at the birdie. I know you got things to do, bird, bird places to see. Just let me shoot you in the face a little bit. My body is falling in a very tucked away strange place. Okay, there we go. Take all, take all, take all. And no, I like. Uh, let's equip the bow there, buddy. Yeet! Boop. I think I hit it. All right. Well, I'm just gonna try to pump this thing full of. Not bullets, but the arrow equivalent of bullet, uh, arrows. And see if maybe we can't see something falling. Maybe we, we might need to like parkour our way back up there or something too. 
to see if we can't find like those uh bird feathers or whatever it is so i think that's what they drop right like bird feathers i, I am not seeing anything at the moment come on birdie are you dropping some stuff don't you shoot you in the face poke your eyes out i don't entirely know hmm i mean i i I don't see anything yet, but maybe when it flies away, that might be our chance to shine. Because I do know that they're like bird things that the bird drops, you know? For now, you're just chilling up there. Menacingly. I'm going to just keep on trying to shoot the bird a little bit. I mean, I got some extra arrows to spare. But like, it's, it's not dropping anything like the koi fish that we were messing around with a few episodes ago was in the uh, update preview. Which, dude, I'm still so bummed that this ended up being a little bit of a smaller update than we kind of expected. They had the whole kind of like preview world and everything with uh, what you call, like uh, the un like all the like underwater updates and stuff, and all that we primarily got was a bird and a few changes here or there, bumping the spiders, jazz like that. Come on, bird, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, and the bird has takeoff, and he gone. Okie dokie. Well. Definitely want to investigate under the bird and see if any like any feather like objects are dropped If not, we're gonna make our way up top to where the fountain is and see if we can't find something through those means and Maybe produce something through those means. I think that would be the big brain play here But I, I don't see anything dropping so we got parkour way back up there ladies and gentlemen home oh, oh boy. Oh boy. But okie dokie boys and girls We've climbed up this elaborate area over by the lab Which I do still want to explore by the way But with this kind of you know update dropping and everything definitely wanted to focus on some of the stuff in the actual update But uh, you know, be like star. How do you plan on getting over there from over here? Like a psychopath. That's how because this is how I did it the first time around So I thought hey, let's show the marvelous people. Yo, you how it's done <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's a little bit loco. And then from there, we have a relatively easy access to the rest of this place. And the question is, did the birdie drop some feathers? Or something along those lines. Ooh! A scab! I'll take that. And if you'll excuse me, this is the way that we went to get up to this branch where the bird likes to chill. Hopefully the bird doesn't reappear and stomp on top of me. Because as we saw, the bird is very good at pushing people off and I was that unfortunate person the first time around but unless I'm missing something dude I it does not look like the bird actually dropped anything unfortunately little bit of a bummer because this is this is the branch right here I guess like we were chilling over by this leaf now that I bring it up right this is where the bird itself was we were shooting it quite a lot I don't know where my arrows went, dude. Those went into frickin' infinity and beyond. And, uh, scavenging this place around, it does not look like the burby dropped anything. Well, that's a tad bit of a major bummer. Really? At least we got to see the bird in action, but we did not get what we wanted from the birdie. That's sad. This is like somewhere in here. Oh my god, that's so muddy. No wonder the bird didn't drink anything out of there. Hmm. I mean, I have seen the bird flying around a little bit, and I do know for a fact it can't actually spawn in in... Boop, boop, boop. Bye-bye, Barry. It can actually spawn and land in, like, a variety of areas across the map, so we might need to try and, like, keep our eyes peeled and see where exactly the bird might land, because it looks like this one might not be the most conducive to actually getting feathers. Well... With that, I suppose we should make our descent down from the bird bath, but bruh, that is so just like, come on, man. Oh, no, speaking of come on, man. Ah! <gasps> We're alive. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We can eat some hot dogs. Ugh. I'll be in the hot dogs. Worse than my hot dogs heal me. Sprouts. The hot dogs are not healing me. This is unfortunate. Anyways, yeah, back to what I was saying. It does indeed appear that the bird feathers, I, at least when I was here, they did not spawn in. I can't find them around the base of the bird bath. We couldn't find them up at the top of the bird bath. They are an enigma, a myth that was uh, never meant to be, except it is meant to be because there are new crafting recipes you can get from the flipping bird feathers, dude, which is why I'm a little bit sad. I like shot that bird up too, quite a lot, but. Hmm, I know there's like a science lab over here by the way, but 
That doorway is locked, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a bummer. Hello, doorway. Yeah, just in case y'all don't believe me, Star looks so openable. Nope. Alright, so I'm getting thirsty and I don't actually have a proper way of uh, doing something about that. So I'm just gonna drink up the sketchy water over here. Which does drain our food, but luckily we have food to make up for that. So it's not the biggest L in the world. And then that should help us uh, get into better shape. But I suppose I will uh, start making my way to some other places where I have seen the birds spawn. And try to find... Oh, those... Oh my god, what is that? What in the... Does anyone see that thing? What is that? Is that is that like oh my god that thing's disgustingly terrifying I hate it can I shoot it? How do I attack that thing? I don't really have anything that can attack underwater, dude. What is that? Hello? It doesn't fight back or anything, and I can't do anything to him. Okay, hold up. Dude, it, oh that might be the new water flea that was added in. Dude, get over here, water flea! Get over here, you little dragon looking thing. Oh my god, that thing is truly terrifying. Hello, water flea. Let me try to line up this shot. Because, like, it's... Come on, water flea. Dude, that is freaking crazy. Okay, so it looks like we did get the addition of our first actual, like, underwater type of enemy. However, he, uh... Come on. Oh, there we go. We got a hit on him. We got a hit on him. We just got I'm just gonna shoot where I see my arrow over there. Dude, that water flea is literally almost dead. Unfortunately, almost is the key word. Oh my god, can we kill a water flea? Can we kill a water flea? Hello, water flea. Come on. Are you dead? Did I kill it? I think he escaped, didn't he? Water flea. Get back over here, dead. This is not that loud. I'm trying to kill you. Okay, hold on. I think he's gonna like be driving by this way a little bit. Oh no! Come on, man. He's so elusive. I'm running out of arrows, man. That's how elusive this fella is. I really want to see what they drop. Oh! <gasps> we got it! We got the water flea! Let's go! What's he drop? What's he drop? Water flea meat? Okay, is that that's all that he dropped? Water flea meat. Can we like research this? Like what what exactly is water flea meat good for? What is uh what is water flea meat? Where where is the water flea meat even? Actually. Oh, it's that thing. A large chunk of a water flea seems edible, but could probably be used for something else. Well, it does not appear to have unlocked any recipes. We can't research it. So I don't think we can use it for anything, unfortunately. Unless maybe it's like over here in the uh no, unless it's over here somewhere. I guess we did discover it, but I don't think it like... Yeah, it says it's used in something. That's the question mark, so I'm gonna save that. That's a little bit of a hype pickup. Let's go, dude. We hunted down a water flea. I'll take that. What can I say, y'all? I'm trying to do some good. I'm ridding this world of fleas one water at a time. And I reckon we're doing a pretty, pretty bang up job. You ask me, oh, mites, dude. I literally have like one health left. I'm not trying to tussle. Okay, hold up. This is stink bug central here. Also trying to be a little bit careful. Because I know that the stink bugs like to get stink. Oh, the well, there's the stink bug. I meant the bombardier beetle. Oh my God. This is low key, such a dangerous turf. But we're making our triumphant return to none other than me home. Oh, hello, stink bug. Did not realize you were there. Died, you blended in perfectly. I think he's taking a nap, luckily. I've really decided to build in the best places, you know? Oh my god! What was that noise? Is that the freaking larva? That was loud and terrifying. Just like everything in this game. But here we are. Hey! What's an ant doing over there? Get up out, out of my base, ant! How- How in the tarnation did you get in my base? No, that's illegal! That's not allowed. Home sweet home, baby. Oh, we got the mushroom farms growing. Life is looking good. Except for this one freaking ant over here. Mr. Ant. You're not welcome in my home! Sorry, bud. You gotta go. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back in none other than home. A sweet home. And it definitely feels sweet to be back at our OG base. We've been spending a lot of time. Get out of your net. I saw you freaking booping me. Over at our kind of like base out in the middle of Bufu freaking Egypt. Over by the toxic area. So it's nice to kind of venture back over this way and uh... 
you know, be able to relax a little bit back at home. But with that said, with that done, I do think that's a pretty good point for us to go ahead and start adding off this episode of Grounded. When we return, I am going to keep an extra peeled eye for the freaking bird and its feathers, man, because I really do want to find it, but the bird is just such a such a tricky thing. Like, I've seen it land on some of those things before, actually. I've seen it land, like, over, I think, on that fence there. Oh my god, the net! I just died to a net?! Are you- Okay, well, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you. Oh, I got a long way to go in the next one. See ya.